Black Supremacies, Nancy Asisia, join the website www.kingnobleuncensored.com. So I want to talk about this movie called The Underground that has been canceled from television. And it's very important or very interesting because a lot of people are under the impression that the movie was canceled because the network has been acquired by a new network. So they think that, you know, the the television channel or whatever that this was being aired on has been transferred from one television network to another broadcasting network. But let me tell you what really happened. The movie, The Underground, this movie depicting black slavery in America, what really happened with the movie Underground was that The Underground was just the bedwench of corporate white television networks. That is what really happened here. Because it makes no sense that the number one most discussed cable drama each night that it aired are laid up in Mass's bed. It makes no sense that this hit underground television show has been canceled. If it weren't for but for that one thing, that it was just a bed wench. And the reason why I say it's just a bed wench of corporate white American television is because not only is this the most popular television show each night of the air, I don't know who's watching this. I don't know where these people are, why you are watching this. Um, to me, it's hypocritical because when they make movies and they hit the box office, everybody's complaining, oh, all these slave movies, 12 years of slave, all this, but then you'll sit home and watch it every day on television. I don't, that doesn't make no sense. But the reason why this is just a bad wench is because they, 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 they detail it in this article. I'll post the link in the bottom. And what they say is that as WGN America evolves and broadens the scope and scale of its portfolio of series, we recently announced that resources will be reallocated to a new strategy to increase our relevance within the rapidly changing television landscape. Peter Kern, president and CEO, Tribune Media Company said in a statement. So basically what he said is that he's tired with this black bed wench. He don't want to hear no more about her. He don't want her in his bed no more. And he's moving on with his white wife. They going on back, you know, they're moving on basically. They the slave she can go back out in the field or work in the house or whatever they done with her though. You know, cuz now they want to they want to what? They want to uh, reallocate funds. They want to stop paying, stop paying her, right? They want they want to basically focus on a more wide audience. And they say earlier this month we reported on WG in America being acquired by the Sinclair Group in a three point nine billion dollar deal. Reports claim that the new owners wanted to transition to a more conservative programming, even considering hiring Fox News talent for news programming. So they basically want to go straight into the, the, the bullshit, right into the fake news. They want to go where it's juicy. You know, they want to, they, they basically want to move on. They, they kicking, uh, they kicking all the bed wenches over to the side and, you know, that includes the, the, the uh, producers of the show. They kicking them all over. That includes the actors. And, you know, it, it makes you wonder why would any black actor want to play a slave of all the things you could pretend to be? Why would you want to pretend to be a slave? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you want to pretend to be a bed wench? Nothing has changed. You don't even have to pretend. You don't have to make a movie. You don't have to be an actor for that. Right. But what this what this shows, too, is that slavery has always been the come up of white America. It, it, it is not going away. So these movies, you want to know why they keep bringing out these these movies about slavery and these television shows about slavery is because it is profitable. It is a come up. It's basically throwing shade on black people 
and declaring whose side you on so that it can become a number one hit movies uh, television show every night so you can uh, run your ads and so they can get paid and you know they got they made so much money off this one little bed wench that they were able to uh sell her to a new master only thing they didn't they didn't want to take the bed you know they they just sold the plantation but they didn't want to they didn't want to uh transfer the bed wench too you know they basically took the plantation and kicked all the slaves off That's basically what happened here. So now the show's creator, Misha Green and Joel Pileski, they're out of a deal with this network. So whether they want to keep betting black people over, if they want to keep betting their slaves over, their, their actors over on a new network, that's up to them now. They have to decide that. But whether these black artists, actors and actresses, whether they are going to make up their mind to stop being a slave, that's that's the real question. And how long are you going to be entertained by being a slave? Because I, I don't even get it. I thought that the real reason for the Underground Railroad was for Harriet, that was that Harriet Tubman had freed slaves from America, brought them to Canada. So I don't understand why this show is such a hit in America. You would think it would be Canadians that would be all, you know, trying to watch this show. And um, I, don't, I don't get it. So... I just want you to know, though, that that's really what happened and why this, this television show ever aired in the first place and why it was ever canceled in the first place. Um, stop being a slave. Why don't they make movies about white slaves? It's not profitable. Anyways, join the website www.kingnobleuncensored.com. Share, subscribe, and donate. Peace.